We will now perform the test for barium ion. We will begin by washing residue R14 with one milliliter of deionized water, then centrifuging and discarding the wash liquid. We will next add five drops of six molar acetic acid to our residue R14 and we will warm in a hot water bath to dissolve the carbonates. We will then add five drops of three molar ammonium acetate and dilute the solution to one milliliter with deionized water. We will next add three drops of one molar potassium chromate to our solution. We will then warm and agitate the mixture and centrifuge. This is what our mixture looks like after centrifugation. We will decant the solution into a new test tube labeled S15 and save the solution for the analysis of calcium ion. We will relabel our precipitate of barium chromate as R15. We will next dissolve the yellow precipitate R15 with two to three drops of six molar hydrochloric acid. We will then dilute to two milliliters with deionized water. We will then add one to two drops of three molar sulfuric acid. A white precipitate of barium sulfate will confirm the presence of barium ion. The white precipitate of barium sulfate confirms the presence of barium ion.